If you're looking to add a little culture to your campus visit, the Museum of Art is the perfect blend of painting, sculptures, and interactive pieces. I visited the museum and found out they even offer art classes to entertain and educate your little ones. The Museum of Art is one of the biggest and best attended museums in the Mountain West. Truly a great place for any art lover to visit. But what if you want to see all the great art but don't know what to do with your children? Programs educator Chris Ann Hastings has the perfect solution. The Tuesday class we have is called Van Gogh to Plato Art for Toddlers and it's for kids ages two to four and I pick a theme every month that's very simple for children like animals or shapes or colors and then we take a tour of an exhibition uh, in the museum um, based on that theme and then we come back to the art room and we make Art, we do art activities and make art projects also related to that theme. Chrisanne bases each class off the museum's current exhibits, so a typical lesson goes a little like this. We went down to the Object of Devotion exhibition, which is the medieval alabaster sculptures. A lot of them have depictions of angels. We talked about the different parts of an angel. Some angels have wings, some angels wear robes, some angels have halos or crowns. And then we play different musical instruments to talk about the way that angels sound when they talk and the way that angels sound when they sing. And then we came up to the art room and we had them making angel wings and we had an angel crown station and they could use glitter glue and um, tissue paper and other kinds of um, silvery fabrics and things to decorate their crown. And then our third station was the angel potion station. What's this? Who's got a sticker? The museum's classes are so popular they fill up within the first few hours of registration. I feel like it's a really good self-esteem booster for the kids this age because it really helps them see that they can accomplish something and it's, it's a way for them to get messy without them getting in trouble for it. To have them be able to see the art exhibits and then apply it to things that they can do. You know, at home we can do craft projects like this. It's just, I don't know how she does it, but they're, the lesson plans are awesome, the activities are also always great, and so we love it here. Do you like coming to art class? Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's pretty nice in here. There's not a lot of stuff available for kids this young. Like, a lot of places want you to be three or four um, before you can sign up for activities. And so, it's perfect. Whether it's attending one of the interactive classes or just looking at the collections, these parents wouldn't miss spending an hour in the museum. I think it's very, very rare that you find a coll collections like these in a museum where you it's free to the public, and to be able to take advantage of that is a great thing. And I've been really surprised, um, you know, personally, I never visited tons and tons of art museums before I had Landon, and now I'm, I feel like I was missing out on all these different things. We really like coming to the MOA. My husband um, graduated in, in art, and so we try and incorporate more art into our family life. You know, at home when he sees it, he gets so excited to show his daddy, saying like, look, I'm an artist just like you. The museum's programs run year-round, so if you can't go this month, be sure to check out moa.byu.edu to see their upcoming classes. I feel really strongly about art being an essential part of our human experience, and I know a lot of schools now are cutting their art programs because of funding, which is unfortunate. And it's nice if they can come to a community center or a museum or some place that they can gather and experience the art um, together with their families.